Hi, welcome back to another session of Adobe Shop Photography. In this session, we are going to talk about how to create exquisite text effect in Photoshop. And we will quickly see how to achieve this. This is very wonderful technique of Photoshop. By using this technique, we can really achieve wonderful effects for any of your text. Hello, wonderful people. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shop Photography. Without any further ado, let's get started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, wonderful people. This is Anubhav Sharma from All right, first thing first, let's open Photoshop and create a new blank document. Just go to File and New. Create a width of 1550 and height of 870. Make resolution 150. Make sure color mode RGB and 8 bit. Press Create. Just go to Adjustment layer and click on Gradient. Click on this bar, come to black and white. Click on this stop and just select any color you like. Or you can just copy this particular color which I have selected by just copying this particular hexadecimal code. A2 E3 FF. Press OK. Now just select the style as radial. Make a scale as 300%. Check on reverse. Press OK. And now just select horizontal type tool. Make sure foreground color is selected as black. Choose any font you like. Select the size. I'm making it 20 points. And make it sharp. And just click on this canvas and type the name of your subject or anything you like. So I'm going to use the model which I downloaded from unsplash.com. Her name is C-H-I. N E N E R A M. Well, this is a beautiful name, but I'm not able to pronounce it. I actually selected the photograph of her because she looks so pretty. I'm just going to show you that beautiful model. So just type the model name or any text you like. Just delete this layer. I think this is a text which we don't want. Okay. So we have this uh, text layer with the model name and the gradient, this one, right? So just deactivate this layer and this one as well. So we have the name. Now just go to image and trim. Choose transparent pixels and just check all the boxes right here. Press OK. Now go to edit, define brush preset and give name to your brush. Press OK. And once you have achieved it, just I'm going to Command Z to undo to the action where we created the gradient fill. Perfect. Now I'm going to delete it. We don't require it. Now this is the state where we created the gradient fill. Just create new layer. We'll call it Big Text. And uh, we'll go to the brush and we'll see the brush we have just created is coming right here. Export it and above shop photography. Now just go to Windows and brush settings. Make it 700 pixels. Make it spacing as 500. Now come to shape dynamics. Check this thing and make sure you have selected shape dynamics. Make size jitter to somewhere 45% and just leave all the things as off and 0%. Come to scattering. Check it and make sure scattering is selected. Make it 50% and leave all the settings like this. Now click on smoothing and just come to your document and fill it with the text like this so that it should look something like this. Create new layer and we'll call it medium text. Just deactivate this layer. Activate the medium text and come to settings, brush tip shape and make it 500. Now create another layer, deactivate this layer and call it a small text and make it 300% the brush size and just fill it something like this. Once this is achieved, just right click and convert to smart object and convert these two layers as a smart object. Deactivate this one, right click, 
I'll go to smart object and deactivate this one and this one and convert to smart object. Now I have just created a small, medium and big text to smart object and I have deactivated these two layers. We have activated big text. Now just go to layer style and color overlay. Now just click on this color box and choose any color you like. Or if you need, you can just copy this hexadecimal code. Press OK. Go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur and make it somewhere 7 or 8 pixels. Press OK. Reduce the opacity to 50%. After achieving it, just deactivate this layer. Activate medium text. Select it. Again, go to color overlay and choose any color you like. I'm going to select this color. If you want to copy this color, please note this hexadecimal code 00B1BC. Press OK. Press OK from here. Go to filter, caution blur. Make it 4. Press OK. Make its opacity to 85%. Deactivate it. Activate small text now. And repeat the same action. Go to color overlay. Choose the color. I'm going to select this color. If you want to copy this color, please note this hexadecimal code 3E3200. Press OK. And just collapse all the style. And just activate all the layers. Press Shift and select all the layers. Press Command G to make a group. Call it text. Click on the masking. And if you want, you can just increase the text as per your requirements. Now this is perfect. After achieving it, just open the model image to next tab in a new document. So this is the pretty model which we are going to use for this session. And her name is uh, this. Jenny Miriam. Okay. <laughs> She's so pretty. So I was browsing for the image and when I got to know her smile. So I couldn't resist myself to use it. So, well, I'm going to use this thing which I downloaded from unsplash.com and this creative beautiful artwork is from Prince Akachi. Now we are going to cut this particular image and going to place on this particular canvas. How to cut the images? Using QX selection tool, we have already made several tutorials. Please check the i description for the details. So to save your time, I will just fast forward this section. Once you have achieved it, just press on select and mask. Check on smart radius. Select new layer with layer mask, press OK. Now just press V to activate the move tool and drag the model on the canvas. Do command minus to make it small and do command T. Press enter. Just right click and convert to smart object. Click on masking and just extract this text group. Press command or control and click on this thumbnail once. You will see entire text is selected and make sure the thumbnail of this masking is activated. And once this selection is done, just press command plus shift, command and shift both or in windows, control and shift. So simultaneously just press control or shift and click on the medium and big text as well so that all the text will be added and select it for this particular masking and just press command shift i to invert the selection and make sure your foreground color is selected as black and press alt backspace or in windows alt delete and do command d to deselect perfect and just right click and convert to smart object now we will call it model now you can just go inside the model double click and you can adjust the model image as per your requirements make sure you unlink this particular chain icon just click on it select the move tool just close it it will ask you to save press save now just create one masking on it and just select this particular masking while selecting this particular thumbnail of masking make sure foreground color is selected as black select the brush and select the same brush which we created and just click randomly anywhere you like. Decrease the brush and increase it as per your requirements. 
And now select the masking of the model layer and repeat the action. And this time we are going to do this particular action which we did for the text masking. And this time we are going to do it for the face. Once you are done with it, just do command J to make a copy. Change its blending mode to hard light. And select this and decrease its opacity to somewhere 50%. And just create one another adjustment layer for the curve. All right, so you have achieved so wonderful results and we'll quickly see what we have achieved with it. We started with this image and we have achieved this wonderful results. Before, after, before, after. This is so amazing. Enjoy and you can use this technique to perform any kind of wonderful effects with text and the portrait. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. All right, so as we have seen that how wonderfully and easily we can really achieve exclusive text effect in Photoshop. And by using such wonderful techniques, you can really do wonders with your text. And in case you find it difficult using Photoshop or photography, you can go to our website www.anobobshopphotography.com or you can comment in comment section. And if you have not subscribed my channel right now, please go and subscribe and hit the bell icon. We are coming back with a fresh dedicated episode for you. Meanwhile, stay fit, stay healthy, be happy. This is Anubhav Sharma from Anubhav Shah Photography, signing off.